one is called White Fantasy. We clean this well using the Service Prep Deglosser. We put on the base coat, and this is our color Coliseum. So that's going to be a white with a gray undertone. Taking a paper plate. So uh, two spoons of the cobblestone gray, and then I'm going to put in our tenable antiquing gel. I'm going to put in four spoons of that. See, so what we're going to do is we're going to be creating those veins and all that little that little texture that you see there. So you're going to get in your bundle, you're going to get our true applicator, and that's going to be important here to creating this look. So what you want to do is just dip in the true applicator here, and then you're going to make some little lines here. And those lines are going to be kind of a little wavy technique. You're going to take your dry roller and you're going to roll over that just to continue to soften and blend this out a little bit. The next step would be to add a little bit of depth and we did that using the faux pas. It slides on your hand whether you're left-handed or right-handed. You put that on and the next color that would come in your bundle for this white fantasy is this beautiful gunmetal metallic and that's going to give us just a little bit of glitter and just a little bit of that random pattern. And what I want to do is I kind of want to stamp just a little bit in a line. And I want to blend it pretty soon because I want this to blend out quickly. And next we're going to take our whitewash antiquing gel over this whole thing and we're going to soften down the entire piece. So now we're to the final step. We've given this two days, two full 24-hour day cycles to let this fully dry before we start trying to seal it. Put on a good, nice coat. You don't want to slather this on, meaning this is not going to require thick coats. It's going to require three thinner coats. You're going to take your dry roller and go over that. The reason you're going to dry roll over that is because you don't want it to have a brush stroke. You just say three coats, three hours apart, three days before you wet it. Let's talk about how to care for this later. In other words, after that three day time period is passed, you can use household cleaners that you're normally used to using, such as any spray cleaner that's antimicrobial, any household cleaner, whatever you wash dishes with, it can't even hurt the countertops. That's yeah. how I clean my counter. But not an abrasive household cleaner, and I'll hold this one for an example, not to use. This is a no. Don't use anything that has an aggregate in it, like Comet or anything that, like an Ajax that's a scrubby type something. That's going to erode the finish of your countertop, and you don't want to do that. One that I would hesitate to say is this one, and this power wash has a lot of alcohol. Alcohol is an enemy to an acrylic paint. The original all-in-one paint, often imitated but never duplicated. Why settle for less? Follow us here for more DIY inspiration and tutorials.